like what what examples do you have that might be able to guide us sure well first i want to say that dementia and alzheimer's disease are different alzheimer's is a disease and dementia is a generic term for fifty plus diseases that result in slow cognitive decline and so i can give you an example of what it's like to not have uh... advanced health care directive with a parent who's got dementia and the horrible consequences that evolve from that. I had a client call me. His father was in the emergency room. He had dementia. He was 85 years old. And his father always had a dislike of the medical community. So when the ER doctor said, I'm going to take a CT scan, and the father objected, he said, I want to go home with my son. Well, an argument ensued. The father, having dementia, had some behavioral outbursts. And the Meaning doc he was violent? He, not violent, but verbally abusive because he really wanted to go home with his son. He did not want the test. And the doctor basically said, come hell or high water, you're having the test. They handcuffed the man to the gurney, ankle cuffed him, gave him the test against his will. Then they put him on what's called a 5150 psychiatric hold. It's a three-day hold under a wel welfare... Involuntary hold. Involuntary hold. And that turned into a 14-day hold because when they ankle cuffed him, he's got very thin skin, as many adults do, and he ended up with a MRSA infection. The bottom line is, is if the son was the agent under an advanced health care directive, when that gentleman said, I want to go home with my son, his son would have been able to say, I have this piece of paper, I'm his agent, I'm his voice, my dad is coming home with me. Instead, he or was institutionalized. Or to also say that, yes, dad, you're going to get the medical treatment, right? Correct. Exactly. And that is, if that doesn't exemplify why it's so important right. to have these documents. Is it easy to get one of those? Oh, so easy. There's forms that you can download from the internet. There's ways to do that. I always suggest that you have an attorney draft one, not because it's self-serving, but because there's so many different nuances that need to be covered in drafting it. We'll take your calls. We're talking about Alzheimer's, dementia, all the problems, the questions this raises for families about your loved ones, about their care, about the diagnosis. When do you get somebody in? When do you look out for them and take over their affairs when they're unable to do so themselves? Janice is calling us from Lake Arrowhead. Thank you, Janice. Yeah, thank you. I'm, I'm 78, uh, totally of sound mind. You can ask anybody. I, I live with my daughter, and I totally value and trust her judgment. My husband died of Alzheimer's last year. Uh, is it wise? I would like to go on and have do this conservatorship, uh, have it done like tomorrow. Is that wise? Well, you could always do that. And even though it's a voluntary conservatorship, it's still a process that entails going to court, and it can be costly. You can completely avoid a conservatorship by having the right advanced health care directive and power of attorney for finances in place. And that is why the forms that I was just talking about don't necessarily work that well if you want to avoid a conservatorship. But certainly go to an attorney, have an advanced health care directive and a power of attorney drafted well, and your daughter can take over everything without having to involve the courts. Janice, have you talked to your Thanks. daughter about this? Uh, oh, uh, I will when I hang up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad we've given you some ideas, and thank you so much. There'll be information about Susan Geffen and her work on the Pat Morrison page, Janice. You and your daughter can look at the link there. Thank you so much for calling. And let's hear from Maggie, who's calling us from Riverside. Maggie, you're on with Susan Geffen. Go ahead. Hi, thanks for the show. I'm so excited. This is ta tag on for what I'm going through. Um, the woman that just called, uh, I think it would be better to get the conservatorship in place. Um, I had a durable power of attorney. My dad's 91, and uh, he was dementia diagnosed in 06. And I went in to get the conservatorship um, guardianship done in Oregon. There is a slash. He retired up in Oregon from Southern California. And my brother decided that he didn't like it because I was cleaning up my dad's property, you know, knowing that pretty soon he was going to have to leave that and be somewhere else. And he accused me of thieving, and I didn't pay that $3,000 to get the guardianship conservatorship, and I'm still on litigation on year three. Oh, boy. And you're the caregiver, the right, Maggie? Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm sure, Susan Geffen, you hear this a lot, that siblings, dealing with the parent is one thing. Siblings fighting among themselves is another thing altogether. 
Well, I've actually seen grown people in their 50s stop having a relationship with their siblings that they've been best friends with their entire life over these issues of caregiving and the documents that the government doesn't want you to read. There is nothing conspiratorial about it. They're documents that our government has produced. It has nothing to do with my, my opinion of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's just that they have to deal with a few Want to things that could be conspiracies parents. like 9-11. Mm -hmm. I did not bring the book with me, unfortunately. I got rolling this morning and forgot it because I'd love to have it. So I think we've got a copy. Oh, Maybe good. Well, then, oh, then we're in good shape. Yes. Then we're in good shape. Be sure. Okay. okay. Can, well, so I don't know what there is to jostle about, though. The documents are what they are. Yeah. Well, yeah. You can't, you can't sit and... You can't sit. Is this him? Or no, no, no. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Remind me of an image. I'm her husband. Ah, okay. But I mean, this is uh, Susan Gavin from the, uh, we're talking about um, elder law, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. But God, I mean, Joel. Joel. Joel, this is government. But uh, I mean, what's there to jostle about? Well, the documents. Yeah, and he, we, so we gave him a copy, uh, uh, um, I'm not a copy, bought it, and gave it to him. And my father, who is um, you know, 90, skeptic, he's going to be 90 this year, taking care of her. And he's primary a caregiver. And what we are discovering is that they did a whole issue. And I think they're doing a whole other issue. Because she's in the latter. Because she's skeptic? I don't know. Because she's not even going to be a company out here. Um, against that. And things that support their position. Um, yeah. Could what be. do you do? I don't know. Well, I'm not educated enough on skeptics. Remember, remember the guy that wrote the case that you did? Yeah. 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 Yeah.